Saturday, September 7th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $24. One Bitcoin is $120. Peace News Now is brought to you in part by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Learn about Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. A small town in Colorado has found itself overwhelmed with requests and cash for an unmanned aircraft hunting license that doesn't exist yet. What started out as a whimsical protest against government surveillance tactics is now being taken seriously. In June, a resident of Deer Trail, Colorado proposed a town-wide ordinance that would offer $25 licenses to hunt and shoot down government drones if they flew within a thousand feet above private property, with a $100 reward for returning one. After the requests for licenses, including personal checks made out to the town hit over a thousand, the town clerk stopped counting. The town's board had a chance to approve the license ordinance last month, but deadlocked three to three. If you know anyone in the Deer Trail, Colorado area, get this message to them. Deer Trail residents vote on the ordinance in one month, October 8th. The federal government has warned, quote, shooting at an unmanned aircraft could result in criminal or civil liability, just as would firing at a man and airplane. This issue still up in the air. This story brought to you by the Sons of Liberty Mint. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. Four quarters to a troy ounce. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today at sonsoflibertymint.com. New Hampshire State Police established a suspicionless checkpoint on Route 12 in Walpole last week. About 20 cop cars waited to ambush oncoming drivers. Most people endured the blinding, flashing lights and handed the authorities proof of permission to be driving. Occasionally, drivers were asked to accept sobriety tests. The checkpoint, while intended to catch people by surprise, was announced in advance in the Keene Sentinel, as is required by New Hampshire law. In violation of New Hampshire law, however, these detentions are not based on suspicion of a driving offense. Liberty activists in Keene responded by setting up signs warning of the checkpoint ahead and indicating where the final turnoff was to avoid that checkpoint. There were complaints about the cops' bright lights, but there weren't any reports of belligerent, impaired, or otherwise dangerous individuals taken off the road that night thanks to the checkpoint. But there was a man who was arrested for failure to obey an officer. Seems like the greater danger for most drivers is not drunk driving, but fascism. But it's not all hopeless. One activist, Garrett Ian of FreeConcord.org, drove through the checkpoint with cameras rolling and captured some pretty interesting video. He drove through sipping an unlabeled brown glass bottle, did not offer any proof of license, identification, or registration, and was sent on his way without a citation. Officers do have discretion, and I applaud the officer in this interaction for exercising it, although it probably had everything to do with the video camera and not his own motivations. Want more from the scene? Check out the raw footage from Free Concord's camera coverage in these show notes. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet app at blockchain.info. Speaking of Keen, Ian Freeman posted to freekeen.com this week that he and Daryl W. Perry delivered notice to the people calling themselves the City of Keen that 73 and 75 Leverett Street are ministers' parsonages now, and that Ian and Daryl will no longer be participating in their system of coercive taxes. However, the new pastors may elect to give the city bureaucrats a voluntary contribution to support the programs they do support, like road repair. An excerpt from the notice reads, quote, You are on notice that you have no authority from God to rule your fellow man. Our church's ministers and members also have not granted you any authority over their lives. In other news, in a video that went viral this week, Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd appeared on a TV talk show. In it, he shares that his views on homosexuality have changed because his heart and mind have been changed. This is another good sign that little by little, the world is becoming more rational. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you in part by friends of WeUseCoins.com. I want you to share this episode, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.